Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am bringing you guys a Franklin's Mansion mod. So in this mod, in this video today, we're gonna be upgrading Franklin's Mansion to what you're seeing at the moment on the screen. So it looks like a pool party. I think there's like a third floor. Uh, there's some stuff in the front of the in front of the house. It's, it's, you know, it's it's a pretty cool mod. It's it's definitely pretty big difference if you ask me. There's literally stuff all over the house. I think there's, did you see there's even gold in here? Look at that, they're even throwing in some gold for you. So let's get started with this mod guys and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do consider subscribing if you like watching mods and I pretty much showcase mods around every single day. Um, so let me know what you guys think too. Um, and if you guys wanna see anything in the future, let me know. All right guys, so first thing uh, for this mod, you are gonna need obviously the Franklin's Mansion uh, house. And you're also gonna need a map editor. Luckily for this one, we could even crush this out the way. All the files go into the script folder. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So let's go ahead and install the map editor first thing since it's you need it and it's probably the easiest thing. You know what? Go ahead and download both of them. Actually, just I'm just gonna go ahead and download both of them. So this is the map editor. Alright, cool. So this is closing this out. I'm gonna minimize this, put it to the side, and I'm gonna download Franklin's Mansion House. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, download that. Show in folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and extract. Alright, sweet. Go ahead and close this out. Alright, minimize this, and then, and then I have instructions here for you guys. Did I close out the other one? There you go. All right, cool. So right here, guys, so we have the map editor. And here we have Franklin's house. All right, guys, so for this one, so the map editor. So go ahead and open up OpenIV or Open4, whichever you prefer to call it. Let's go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and click on Windows. All right, so it's, uh, it's loading, it's loading, let's let it load. All right, guys, so now once you have this, right, so once you have open IV open, um, go ahead and create a script folder. And again, I'm gonna mention this again for anyone that's new or doesn't know, the script folder, there's nothing special about this script folder. It's literally just a folder created by yourself, right, by you. Um, the way it works, it's read by scripta.net and so that is a need as I have it right here in the site. I'll get to that shortly. So go ahead and create a scripts folder. If you are in open IV, you can just click on this folder and then it'll ask you for a name. Go ahead and write, uh, type in scripts, all lowercase, and that is it guys. So once you have an empty folder, go ahead and inside of that folder, write the scripts. All right, and what you're gonna wanna do guys, so this is the map editor, right? This is the map editor uh, download that we got online. Go ahead and highlight every every single thing, every single thing, drag and drop. And that's it, all right, that's it. Map editor is installed, that's it. You were done with that, you can close that out the way. All right, so now that we got the easy part out the way, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you guys what you actually need, all right? So script took five, there's a need. You need scriptic 5 scripta.net 3 as I just mentioned, it reads the script folder. You do need native UI. Um, it's just a quick file that you put in your root folder. I can even uh, link it in the description. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you might have it already, but I just like to put it in there. Uh, Visual C++, more of a, a Windows machine thing. Mine already had it. I'm, I, I'd say most of yours should have it already installed, but I like to put it in there regardless in case the mod doesn't work. I will try downloading this, installing it on your Windows computer, and I'll also link. Uh, I'll also put the link in the description for this. Um, it's not the biggest deal because uh, most of a lot of computers should come with it already. Um, you do need OpenIV and Menu is the trainer that I use, and I like to put it in there just so you guys know what menu, uh, what trainer I use, and in case you see a menu pop up in my game. All right, so as I stated here and saw map editor right all goes into script folder that is done we can cross that out so don't worry don't even worry about this because I already showed you how to do that and then this is pretty much how you actually install the mod so first create a script folder if you didn't already we did already right I just showed you how to do that so one is done already easy and then you want to make a folder inside of that scripts folder so if you go to gt5 go to scripts 
and you want to create a folder called auto load maps see so i already created one um so how you would do that guys is go ahead and create right auto load maps make sure it is a capital a for auto capital l for load capital m for maps and that's it so exactly how it is here and then once you create that go ahead and click okay all right so i already created one so i'm not going to do it again so once you have this folder it's going to be empty all right so that's step two make a folder instead of scripts folder called auto load maps that's how you do it all right boom two is done three put franklin's mansion house the xml into the auto load map so that is the folder that you just created all right so you want to put so if you go inside your franklin's download mod right this is the mod that we just downloaded franklin's mansion house this file this file right here is going to go inside of that auto load map so if on open iv go inside of the auto load maps the, uh, the folder that you just created and mine is already in there right so what you're going to want to do is just drag and drop so drag the franklin's mansion house file into there boom um, mine kind of just replaced it. I already had it in there, but see, it's not a big deal. I just drag it in there again because it's the same file. So, boom, that is done, right? So, put Franklin's Mansion House.xml, this one right here, into the auto load maps in there. So, it's going to go in scripts, auto load maps, boom. So, three is done. And now for HD interiors, which we do want, this, right? So, that file path is where so if you go back to the download right this is the franklin's mansion house download go inside of the hd interiors folder you should see two files and those two files are going to go in here so let me show you where to go go back to the root folder or the root of gta5 you are going to need so go inside of mods the x64h all right and hey Luis, how do you get that right, i don't have it how, how do you get that i know like i'm confused um, so if you look to the left, there's a lot of x64s, x64a, b, c, d, e, etc. Go to the H, so it should be right here. All right, so now you should get this little pop-up that'll say, do you want like, you'll get exactly this. So it'll say copy to mods folder. It says the archive you are currently editing is not located in mods folder. So what you would do is copy to mods folder. I'm using J's and uh, I as an example. Don't copy I, just an example. Um, the reason is because I already have it in there. So for me, it just says show in mods folder, but for you, it'll say copy to mods folder. So once you're under H and you say copy to mods folder, like for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on show in mods folder and this is going to take me to my mods folder to this, this right here, but inside of my mods folder, because I already copied it in there. So once you click on that, you are inside of the mods folder, but now you have this in there. Boom. So now that you got that in there, go to X64H levels. All right now I'm following this path right here. GTA 5 interiors B and underscore 24. So all these are pretty much the same and they're just numbered. So from one to we want 24. So this one right here. So V underscore int underscore 24. Go inside of it. All right. So now you see a bunch of files. And now what you're going to want to do is these two files, right? The two files that that I showed you guys, so you just gonna want to drag and drop. Boom, that's it. All right, guys. So now you are all done, guys. Congratulations, you installed. You gave. You just gave Franklin a new house. All right, you should feel proud of yourself. You should feel happy because you did something nice today. <laughs> all right. So now that you are done with the mod, guys. Now that we are both done, you and I and all of you watching, I'm gonna load up GTA 5 and then I'll be right with you guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. So let me put up the volume here. Just here. All right, so now that we are inside of the game, oh, that's just a mod, that's why I'm going so fast. Go ahead and uh, load up to Franklin. In my case, I replaced Franklin with Kanye. <laughs> so that's why, uh, that's why he looks like Kanye. <laughs> just wanted to point that out that that is, uh, that's what I uploaded in my last video. So feel free to check that out if you wanna know how to do that. And super buff, super buff Kanye. All right, so let's go to your house. Uh, so here. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it said loading model. That's how you know the mod's working. So, as you can see on the left side, it says loaded maps, scripts, or load maps, Franklin Mansion's house. And that is how you know it works. So, let's go to teleport, right? So, this is menu. Let's go to teleport to the waypoint. 
And boom. Look at look, look at all that. So yeah, we got guards, you got guard dogs, you got a nice car with a cover. I think she I think she had yep, modified garage. There's so much in here. So we got you even got a bike inside your house. We got a bomb, you know, we're gonna keep it uh kid friendly in here. Family friendly. <laughs> Um, what else is it? Dude, why is she hitting me? I just got inside. I don't even know you. Oh, come on, leave me alone. She speaks Spanish. Alright, so you got some of this. Over here, you got you. This is, uh, this is uh, where the YouTube videos are made, guys. Right in here. <laughs> All right. Dude, why is she hitting me? You're not gonna do anything. She's annoying me. Jesus. Oh my gosh, I, I guess the cops to follow you. Your own guards will hunt you down. <laughs> I just found that out. Because I never had to murder someone inside my house. Never thought of it. And he, he look at, you even got your own gym, right? Look at that. You don't even got to leave the house to work out. No excuses now, guys. No excuses. I got some, uh, some ladies dancing. You got some sticks. Look at this. You got your own guitarist. He jamming, he bumping. <laughs> what else is over here? So you got a, uh, I don't know what's going on over here. Not too sure, is that Michael? Oh my gosh, dude, that's literally Michael. Michael, Trevor, you guys are planning a heist and stuff over here. This is uh, where stuff goes down. And the uh, cops over there, they're not, they're not gonna do anything. Cause I got mods and uh, hey. Dude, what the heck is going on? So yeah, the cops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cops ruined the party, guys. Literally. All right. So and then you got some. You got some more over here. Except uh, your people shouldn't be freaking out like mine. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you guys do in end up installing and if you guys like this mod. I think it's a pretty sweet mod, just to switch up your game as always. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, if you like this content, if you like GTA mods, and then I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Take care, guys.